Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Gorgeous day today with lots of sunshine, warm temperatures. We have more of that on the way. Don't worry. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. We're looking at dry skies at the moment. Don't need to spend a lot of time on that threat tracker for today and tonight, Monday and Tuesday. Low chance of anything severe. Live pictures from Warwick. Look at those pretty blue skies that we have there. Temperature currently at 79 degrees at Oakland Beach with a wind from the south at seven. Hurricane barrier camera looking westward. 83 degrees with a wind from the south at 10 and in westerly 80 with a wind from the southwest at 6. Satellite radar picture really quiet across the entire northeast right now. We do have some clouds off to our south. We'll be monitoring those throughout the night. Some showers off to our north and west. They should be staying away. We do have a front off to our south. It's going to hang out there for a couple of days. We do have another front off to our north and west. Going to be monitoring that as well. But I think at least until Tuesday, we will likely be dry here in southern New England and possibly tonight we could be seeing the northern lights. We'll talk about that more specifically in just a minute, but of course you need clear skies to see it. So let's take a look at it with our future cast and we are expecting some good visibility of the skies this evening. Could be some low clouds, maybe a little touch of fog late in the night, especially near the coastline. But overall, we'll get some good viewing of the skies tonight. Some showers will be off to our north and west during the daytime tomorrow. We're looking at another dry day for Monday, but another fairly sticky day. Let's talk about the northern lights. The most likely spots to see them would be to our north as usual, but uh, anybody up in Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, upstate New York could be seeing a gorgeous show during the nighttime tonight. It's possible we could see them in Rhode Island if the magnetic storm is a little bit stronger that's traveling through space. We could actually see it uh, here in Rhode Island. Don't expect those giant sheets of green that sometimes you see on the internet. More likely you'll be seeing something like this just some uh, pillars of light in the sky. Here's what to look for. Find a dark sky. Look to the north, low in the horizon. Let your eyes adjust to the darkness. You have to be patient. It might take a while. The time frame, uh, most of the time right around midnight, but it could be kind of off and on throughout the night that we could be seeing uh, the Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights. And if you're taking pictures, take a long exposure picture, meaning leave the shutter open for a little while and you get a better picture of the Northern Lights if we do see them. Better chances again in Northern New England as opposed to here in Southern New England. Forecast for tomorrow morning, 72 degrees, warm, dry, expect dry roadways. I'm expecting dry roads and dry skies tomorrow afternoon. Mid to upper 70s at the south coast with the wind tending from the south southeast. Uh, inland about 80, 82, 82 in Socket, 80 with Johnston, 80 in Providence over in Fall River, about 77. Mid 70s over there in New Bedford. Out on the beaches tomorrow, good beach day, a little bit cooler than today with a blend of clouds and sunshine. Air temperatures in the upper 70s, safe sun time about 20 minutes. Here's the live pinpoint. Upper 12 seven day future cast. Now some slight changes for Tuesday. We do have the threat of some showers, especially during the afternoon. Not raining all day, but uh, we are looking at a, a warm and pretty humid day on Wednesday. A little warmer, upper 80s perhaps and very humid. Chance of a spot shower in the afternoon, but overall not a bad day. Thursday, there could be a couple of showers in the area, maybe a thunderstorm. On Friday, we're looking at dry skies right now next weekend. Looking at decent weather with temperatures in the low 80s with sunshine. So overall, not a bad week if you pick this week for a vacation, but there are a few days with the chances for some rain showers. But tomorrow I think we will be rain free and it looks like we have good viewing for those northern lights tonight. TJ taking this some time to educate me on Aurora Borealis tonight. Yeah, it's a, it should be a good show. We don't expect anything amazing tonight, but you might see some pillars of light. All right, teach. Thanks. Coming up in sports this evening, the Red Sox.